have the promoter of Alfonega, uh, Ayanda Majidi, who's going to give us his perspective of how they approached the fight since they only got the news within two weeks and since Ali had been preparing, of course, they had to adjust to that. So I want to understand more what, from the perspective of the promoter, how he approached the fight. But, uh, Mr. Majidi, we welcome you. Well, uh, uh, we're, we're equally related to the outcome and um, Ali's ability to read the moment. Um, but starting from the last one, we, we ended with uh, the controversial loss. Ali lost, uh, there's nothing controversial, lost a fight in July, was not out simple. So there's no controversy. He bounced back. Um, on the 18th of December, he won a WBO, WBO Africa title against a boy from Ghana. Um, so we had committed into steering uh, his career um, towards a consistent, um, or rather consistent wins, but also appreciating the fact that, that he's not getting any younger, he's, he's aging. Um, but we, I interacted with the Russian promoter um, almost three weeks ago, and I've been talking to Ali to say he must stay in gym. He was helping another boy to name it. That was um, preparing for some fight, so he has been. So at the time I made a commitment that we are taking the fight in Russia. Um, I knew that uh, we were at engagement of a 10 rounds. Um, but I knew that we could go all the way because the boy that they were talking about, this fish can, was uh, 25. He's a hot prospect in Russia. He hits very hard. He's young. Um, he's inexperienced in being taken for the full system. He has 12, six knockouts in the 12 fights. Right? So, but Ali is taller, which was equally the award. Um, so it was very easy to plan this kind. Because he's a forward coming fighter, he hits very hard. Ali is working uh, behind the jab, he counterpunches a shorter guy. A shorter guy would jump. When he jumps, he opens himself up and he counters. Um, it was just a question of being aggressive when he's moving backwards. But when he comes forward, um, counter him every time and hit him very hard. Whenever he commits, and he misses, he must pay it early. So uh, that's the game plan that took us through the entire 12 round. Um, so that was our experience there. Um, the lowdown of Russians, in particular the promoter who made that fight, is that uh, they can't take defeat, they can't handle defeat. They're very bad losers. That's one. Two, whether whether you 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 do it for different reasons, you you can militarize the boxing environment. I mean, you had only myself, Bungu and Ali. Um, I went into after the the, the 12th round. The 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 IPO commissioner, who's the Russian boxing commissioner, was almost cornered by the security. Air forces of the president. And the president stood up and was announcing Vishkal as a winner and was instructing him not to announce anything else. I mean, that's bad for boxing. Even the ring announcer he was told to announce something different. I had to shout to say, we're waiting for results. Um, ultimately, results came and there were insults, but two Polish guys gave us the fight, local guy gave Vishkal the fight. I mean, the promoter from yeah. that fight did not speak to me. I did not speak to him up until now. At some point, we have not spoken. It, it